Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to talk about the latest software update for Samsung Galaxy S20 devices. This new version brings it up to ATD1. Now the size is 218 megabytes and it also brings the security patch of May 1st. Now up here it states a software update can include but not limited to device stability improvements, bug fixes, new and or enhanced features and further improvements to performance. Now as this downloads, the main improvements that we will see will be again improving the focus HDR and fine tuning the transition animations. Now I have yet to see this update come to the Galaxy S20 Ultra, which this one is locked with AT&T. This phone here is unlocked. So all this means is that the update has been pushed out and then all of the carriers will be coming out, you know, right after this. So some of you might have already seen it. So write a comment below the video, letting me know in the comment section, who is your carrier? Which size of the S20 did you have? And did you get this update? It was pushed out this morning morning uh, which today is on is uh, Cinco de Mayo it is May 5th and it is also Taco Tuesday so get out there eat your tacos today to celebrate uh, Cinco de Mayo and Taco Tuesday but other than that it looks like the update was pushed out this morning uh, so again write a comment below who you have I believe some with Sprint and also Verizon has seen it maybe possibly a few AT&T's I have not seen it yet now this phone here is the Galaxy S20. It's the smaller version. It is unlocked and it's using the AT&T SIM card. So if you don't see this update just yet with your carrier, just have a little bit more patience and keep on checking the software update section inside of settings. Now the software update is done and complete and it did talk a little bit about transition animations. And so I'm just kind of going through a little bit, trying to see if there was anything new or added in. Haven't really found anything just yet. Uh, it looks like everything is still kind of there, still working. Uh, one of the major things was talking about with the camera with improvement so let's kind of go inside of the camera here i mean i have to state that as of right now i've never had issues with my camera on the s20 after that last update uh, last month in april so let's just kind of go through let's make sure everything looks pretty good here we're going to zoom all the way in make sure everything is in focus so there it's all looking good uh, it goes really fast actually with all the different autofocuses between the different areas of what it is actually supposed to autofocus to so let's go right back inside of here. So you can see that's doing a fantastic job. Now let's just zoom this out a little bit. I mean, there should be more area that's actually still in focus. So you can actually see Samsung Mobile in the back is still in focus with this wide shot right here. So this is actually working the way that it's supposed to work. Uh, and then if we went like this right over here, you'd be able to see that Samsung Mobile in the very back is actually not in focus anymore. So yeah, again, it does a really good job. Let's move over to the Galaxy S20 Ultra, just so you can see just how bad it looks and just how dire this update needs to come. So here we go. Let's do a zoom out, put in at 1x, 5x, Actually, this one's looking pretty good so far. Uh, now let's go over inside of the autofocus. So you can see how it's still having trouble right there. The S20 itself had no issues at all. Uh, it's still not, <laughs> there we go. Um, it just doesn't seem to really hold it that well. See that right there? This is the issues that, you know, maybe some people might have on the S20. Um, I only really have it on the S20 Ultra. Uh, it kind of picks it up when I finally move it, but you shouldn't have to move it uh, as you saw with the regular S20. So for any of you who has the Galaxy S20, right now is the perfect time to head inside of your settings, go all the way down, take a look for your software update, and then see if you have anything to install. The latest one is giving you your May patch. That's really the easiest way to see it as well as that ATD1. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.